bizarre facts about Elvis Presley that will leave you all shook up. Did you know? Elvis received his first guitar when he was just 11 years old, and he recorded his first song at the age of 18, which cost him a total of $4. The song was for his mother as a birthday present, but unfortunately she never got to hear it because she didn't own a record player. Elvis had an identical twin brother, Jesse Garen Presley, who was born 35 minutes before him. Both were born at their parents' house in Mississippi, but sadly Jesse was still born and was buried in Priceville Cemetery the next day. Elvis's natural hair color was actually dark blonde. He started dyeing his hair black with shoe polish when he was a teenager. Even though Elvis recorded more than 600 songs in his career, the king of rock and roll didn't write any of them, not a single one, and he never even learned how to read or write music. Elvis's Graceland Mansion is the second most visited house in America, after the White House. At the young age of 19, Elvis Presley tried out for a gospel quartet called Songfellows, only to face rejection due to doubts about his singing abilities. During a performance of Jailhouse Rock, Elvis encountered an unexpected dental mishap. Accidentally swallowing one of his tooth caps, it became lodged in his lung, prompting the need for throat surgery to extract the dental detour. The king of rock and roll had a quirky companion in the form of a chimpanzee named Scatter. Known for his mischievous habit of peeking under women's skirts, Scatter's antics became a source of amusement for Elvis, who enjoyed orchestrating pranks with his female friends. Elvis's look was based on his favorite comic book. From his legendary quiff and sideburns to the half cape jumpsuits, there's a striking similarity between his real-life look and that of his childhood hero, Captain Marvel Jr. Elvis was a black belt in karate. While in the army, he developed a fascination with martial arts, specifically karate. Taking lessons twice a week, over the following 15 years, he advanced his way through to a seventh degree black belt. He even opened a martial arts school in Memphis and in the 70s incorporated karate moves into his Vegas live shows. Elvis had a peculiar hobby, impersonating a police officer. Equipping his car with a police siren, he delighted in pulling over speeding motorists under the guise of a law enforcement officer. Instead of issuing fines, Presley doled out autographs after delivering a stern lecture on the perils of speeding. Beyond his fascination with the law, Elvis harbored a passion for firearms. At the time of his passing in 1977, he owned an impressive arsenal of 37 firearms including a machine gun. Elvis is related to two U.S. presidents. He's a distant cousin to Jimmy Carter and a direct descendant of Abraham Lincoln's great-great-grandfather, Isaiah Harrison. Maybe they should have called him the president of rock and roll. Elvis bought his mother a Cadillac, though she couldn't drive. He also gave one to a backup singer and to his dentist and his hairstylist. When he saw a bank teller admiring his Cadillac, he wrote her a check so she could buy one for herself. Elvis was a sleepwalker and insomniac. When he was young, his mother took the inside knob off his bedroom door at night so that he wouldn't wander off and hurt himself. If a black cat crossed the road ahead of his car, Elvis would search for another route, even if it took him miles out of the way. He was careful always to dress in the same order, first the right sleeve, then the right pant leg, right sock, and right shoe, before dressing his left side. Now that's one suspicious mind. 